and it's in May and then April, or sometimes it's in March, whatever they that Easter uh, resurrection is what we call it. When it comes, he dies 33 and a half years later. Okay, we gotta have prayer. Come on, I, I didn't get all that one. Okay, 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 I'm sorry. Thank y'all for joining the Sunday School lesson here at Holy Trinity, New Beginning Church, where our pastors, Pastor Elizabeth Bridges, and our uh, Sunday School lesson this morning, Remember the True Gospel. Remember the True Gospel. Amen. Thank you for joining uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, 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 or when you're watching on YouTube. We appreciate you. We love you. Uh, uh, the lesson text, uh, Galatians. No, Galatians 6, I mean 1, 6, Galatians uh, 1, 6 through 9, Matthew 28, 1 through 7, 18 through 20, related scripture, 1 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians. Um, um, Corinthians, I had plenty of sleep, I don't know why I'm going to do this, 2 uh, Corinthians 11, uh, 3 and 4, Acts 15, 1 and 5, remember, I'm a Romans, 2, 25, 29, Philippians 3, 1 through 3. Place, Serene, Antioch, Jerusalem, and Galilee. Go and text. I, I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that call you into grace of Christ unto another gospel. Amen. Preparing a lesson of fact to show how we dare not forget the priceless, priceless true gospel principle to remember that Jesus called all of us through grace to partake of the gospel, of the true gospel. Application to not forget the true truth of the gospel lest we go astray. In the next lesson, many voices in the world clamor from our attention and even our worship. So if we are not careful, it is easy to go astray from the truth. There are many things that we do, even in church, that may not ring true to the gospel. So it is imperative that we be on God. In a lot of times, we wonder why people uh, uh, jump to different uh, religion. A lot of times, it uh, is to suit them. In other words, if 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 I go to the religion that's across the street or the next town over. And it's more suit me because I done got comfortable in the scene that I am, that I will go to that in your know, religion. But one thing about that, I don't, I, don't, I don't care what kind of sin that you are in, homosexuality or, or drugs or, or, or just whatever the sin is, Jesus Welcome everybody to the household of faith. And everybody should be welcome to the household of faith. And as our job as um, uh, laymen, uh, preachers, uh, clergymen, is just preach you the gospel. And, and just preach you the truth. And God do the rest. And, uh, it ain't for us to do nothing else but preach the word that God give us. And he will clean you up. That's why it's, the Bible said he separates the wheat from the tarot. Not the preachers, not the deacons, not the trustees, but he separates the wheat from the tarot. Because if we try to separate the wheat from the tarot, we're going to mess up. So my feelings are going to get hurt. So my feelings are going to get hurt regardless. But as long as we're preaching the gospel, we're preaching the truth, God will handle it and God will handle it. But when we try to do separate the wheat from the tarot, uh, we are a for being this that we cannot uh, uh, settle down. Uh, the truth, I'm going to develop the lesson. Uh, stay true to the gospel. Well, uh, to the study the text. In studying the text, uh, it talks about in one, in one of the paragraphs, in verse 7, Paul says, 
this false gospel is not another. The new teaching was early foreign to the truth gospel. It was not a gospel of familiar sort to the truth. In fact, it was not a gospel at all. Here, Paul is talking about how uh, when he was teaching the church, they knew the truth, then they uh, bear from the truth. You know, you got a lot of times you uh, grew up with people in the church, next thing you know, they don't went, they don't went to being a Muslim, they don't went to this, they don't went to that. But ain't nothing but one true gospel. That's it. And the gospel is that Jesus died and he rose early one Sunday morning. That is the gospel. Amen. Ain't nothing, nothing else about it. I mean, ain't no other Messiah, ain't no other prophet or Roman world or whatever. Like some of them say, Jesus is the one and true uh, prophet. That's the gospel. And and that's what Paul was telling. They were they was uh they was getting away from his teaching. It was aggravating him. And I just imagine uh, you know a pastor's done pour, pour their heart and spirit out to you and you gonna uh, deviate from their teaching, go other go somewhere else when they done taught and did the best they can, but in, uh, 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 by the scripture. Preserving the gospel, Galatians 1 and 8. Again, without yet. And Paul was talking about the gospel literally means good news. The good news of Christ is that he gave himself for us, I mean, for our sin. All our sin, all our wrongdoing. That's why Christ died on the cross for all of that. Uh, uh, and so he, all everything that we face, even our sickness, I don't think it says this in here, but even our sickness, anything that we go through, Jesus already done, he, it's already taken care of, uh, of it on the cross. That's why we don't have to worry about saying, Lord, make a way out of no way. He did that on the, he did that on the cross. And so on, uh, my thing is, my thing is when I pray, when I, when I talk to the Lord, I just ask him to help me to get to the spot where I need to be at uh, or, or whatever. Because I already really came to the realization he done made a way. So my prayer is, God, help me to get to, to my destination. Help me to get to my blessing. Or help uh, uh, the, the ones that are supposed to bless me or in my, uh, put them in my path. So I just ask him to order my steps where I can get to my blessing. Get to whatever I need to be. Uh, uh, when he opened the doors up for me. This is what Paul had preached to the uh, Galatians. Gallant women. Yeah. And it was the message that, uh, the next paragraph, they had re, uh, responded to in faith. Now Paul told them that even if he should change his message. I like this right here, what Paul said. Paul was telling the Galatians, it, even if I change my message, and preach something else to you, you should reject it. Amen. Paul, even saying, if I fall off the wagon, if I fall by the wayside, if I lose my sight on, 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 on the Lord, it's up on the uh, preserving the gospel, the last paragraph. Uh, he's saying, if, if I lose focus, if I take my eyes off the Lord and, and you know I am not saying something right, Reject me, reject it, don't take it. Amen. So that's all right, Paul. Then it goes on and saying that last paragraph said the the, uh, the the serious nature of altering or perverting the gospel is emphasized by Paul's statement regarding anyone who does this. Let him be uh, uh, accused. Uh, some Bible. What? The last paragraph on preserving the gospel. Study the text? Yeah, uh -huh. okay. Yeah, study the text. Okay. Mm, that last paragraph. Okay. Uh, some Bible versions translate this, let him be uh, internally condemned. The world has the uh, idea of being delivered up to divine wrath. Amen. And you got a lot of people. That's why I, I, I uh, 
it's so important that you read the Bible, that you get it for yourself because when you watch TV or different minister, everybody ain't after God's own heart with this word. Some of them after their pocket. Some of them out there just get, uh, uh, just get you in their little old coat or whatever it is. So that's why it's so important that you, amen, read this word and get it for yourself and ask God. The Bible says, study to show that some approval. Ask God to help you. And I tell anybody, when I, you know, sometimes people ask me, well, Vance, I'm new, what to read in the Bible, what to start off. I tell them Proverbs, Psalms, the four gods, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Maybe, you know, some of Acts. Then in uh, commentary, everything now, you so really now people don't have no excuse. The Bibles and stuff used to be, I mean, it's still expensive, but now you got so much stuff free on your phone, on, on your tablet, like commentaries and stuff like that. So now, uh, uh, if you die and go to hell, you you can't say what well, God when you get to heaven. The Bible was eighty dollars, and you know I was on fixed income. Oh, you know I didn't have no uh, job. Now that ain't gonna float with the Lord, man, because it's out there free. <laughs> yeah. Peter would say you can get one just about anywhere if you ask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. oh yeah, mm -hmm. it's stuff out there free now. Yeah, but uh, I'm gonna trust it before they leave, and, and, and we're we're hitting what we need to hit. But there is a question, what? and I, this young uh, young man, and we want him to be straight before he leave here, because he might leave any time, and we don't want anybody to leave without knowing the truth. Yeah. Uh, his question was, when was God, when, when, when was Jesus born, that you say? Yes, ma'am. Well, nobody don't know, know actually the date, but we celebrate the, around Christmas. Nobody don't actually know the date he was born. Uh, for all my research, but we celebrated around Christmas time. His his birth. Now tell me what you were saying. Why you thought that? Why you asked that question? I just want to know when he was born. He, but he's born again. Hmm? He he's been, he he is born again in your heart. Oh. You accept him. See, that's the thing. He was born in Bethlehem. But I didn't mean to start that. No, 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 it's no confusion. But I want you to be assured and know what what it is before you leave. Because if you don't know, if you don't have understanding, then he said, and, and all things we need to get what? Understanding. understanding. So if we let you leave out of here and you don't understand, then it'll be on us. Him getting that with that, it'd be well, an easy. I when he was born. Yeah, well, he was born in December during the uh, for Christmas twenty fifth. Well, they said twenty fifth. Yes. They gave that day. We don't know that, but he died. That's what we're celebrating today. And you said Happy Easter. Some say Happy Easter. Some say Happy Resurrection Day. Mm -hmm. And Resurrection is when he got up from the grave. Rose. He rose. Yeah. And so therefore, we celebrate him coming back, or going to hell. Taking the keys from Satan, coming back and letting us know that we got the victory. We can have a victory. We got the victory. Uh huh. So that's for for uh, we call it Resurrection Day. You said you didn't know what Resurrection Day, but mm -hmm. Resurrection they call it Easter, but it is Resurrection. And that's when he got it. Rose. He rose. So that that I want to have that straight with you because you want to have a conversation out there. But I thought it needed to be right. And there's so many more people out there that don't know. And won't ask. And I came to ask you. Yeah, he came to ask. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for those that don't know to come. And this is what's called seeking the Lord. That's seeking him. And we are responsible for you to know who you. Jesus is. And I just want I want that to, I want you to know out there that when someone comes to you, be able to give them the truth. That's what we talk about in this word today. The true gospel. Some people don't know what the truth is. Truth is. They hear all the of things that you were talking about them going from one church to the other trying to find out the truth. But true, you got to look. You, you cannot, you say you can't read, get your phone, turn the telephone on and mash the button and it'll speak to you. Mm -hmm. It'll read it to you. So we still don't have no excuse. All right? I love you, I love you too, baby. Mm -hmm. That's all I just wanted to find out. All right. Day, Andre. All right. Happy Resurrection Day to you. All right. All right. I 
love you. I love y'all too. Okay. Right. I, just want, I just want to know. Well, that's what you're supposed to do. Come and find out. Thank you. Yeah. Amen. The basis of the truth gospel, the resurrection, Matthew 28, 1 through 7, the witness to the resurrection. And now uh, uh, Paul is talking about the first witness were several women as it uh, began to, to dawn on Sunday morning. Following the Sabbath, Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James, Mark 6 and 1, along with some other women, and came to Jesus' tomb, bringing uh, pieces, spices to anoint his body. And I'm going to put a footnote right there because a lot of times, uh, I got, uh, well, I don't care. Oh, um, <laughs> yeah, because I, I know about the stuff in some hot water right here. Oh, uh, a lot, lot of times you, you got. Uh, preachers that uh, uh, took see that, that's why you got people that jump you got people that saying women ought to be silent in the church mm -hmm. and they take that's why I, I say that's why people are studying for themselves and they take it out of the content uh, out of context uh, Old Testament when they was talking about the women ought to be quiet that's when they were speaking out of order it didn't say nothing about uh, the women are being be quiet in church all together. It was talking about when they was out of order, and so they took that out of context. That a woman should be uh, 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 a woman should be silent and all that in church. And I think uh, it's a religion. I think the Church of God is it, one of them that a woman they can't even vote in church. On they I was like you mean they can't vote and, and, and have no opinion. They say no. I was like I would give my tithes and offering. That's one. That's one denomination I wouldn't. Give my tithes off of that. You mean I ain't got no say in nothing, but you want my money. Huh. Oh, no, that ain't Jesus. Huh. I, ain't, I don't have no say in nothing, but you want my money. And, and, but that's why it's so important that people read this and get this word for themselves. Then, that about uh, a woman can't be a pastor. And somebody told me, well, how, uh, I was talking to somebody about this, and they said, how a woman uh can't preach the word, but when she carried the word. Hey, boy, that's all. When he said that, I'm like, that's all right. I ain't never thought about that. Now, how can a woman can't, well, a woman cannot preach the word, but she carried the word. Hey, man, think about that. She carried Jesus. She carried the word. The word on the, and I ain't just saying that because my pastor is a woman always, because uh, Jesus, Jesus said he pulled his spirit, his spirit out on all flesh. He didn't say what spirit. It could be pastoring, teaching, uh, preaching. Uh, he said he pulled out his spirit on all flesh. So, I can't get where I think is it, it I'm about to get well uh I think men I think when they like that they got issues with women because I don't have no problem with a woman teaching me. And the same person said the woman carried the word. He said the the first message that he got was from his mama. <laughs> no, about Jesus. I said, go ahead. And this was a white guy. You know, and so and and, and, and so that, that lets me know that you got issues with a woman uh, when you uh, think a woman can't tell you something about the word of God. I bet you if you're on your damn bed, uh, she able to tell you something. Mm -hmm. And, and something like that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I would just want to say, I would just want to say, uh, the woman, which was Mary, had Jesus and she raised him. She taught him until he was. Of age. And not only that, when they went to the tomb, they carried the word again. As you said, she carried the word. Then when they went to the tomb and come back, she carried the word. At the first message, after the resurrection, a woman carried, but men don't want to, uh, to give in to that. Yeah. But see, but God is, is, is truthful and he's not a lie. And every, as my daddy said, every tub has to sit on his own box. <laughs> Praise God. And so a lot of times, how can a, a woman learn at home with a man when he might not be right? Amen. Oh, all right. So uh, it, it tells you, he said, this is a self salvation. Every person has to seek it by himself. Mm -hmm. And the preacher will preach and tell him how to contradict himself. Mm -hmm. He'll say this and that and all that, and then he'll try to put down the wall. 
Yeah, there you go. So you contradicting just exactly mm -hmm. what you said when you said every everybody got to get it for themselves, and then you turn around and say, "No, you can't do this." But when Jesus draws uh, 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 his disciples in, he gathered them in, and after he gathered them in, he sent them out, mm -hmm. and he told them to go out in the world and 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 deliver my word. I don't see nowhere where he he he, he called woman a uh, a uh, a man, but he says uh, being a disciple, you are mine. Mm -hmm. You know I've lost some members because I'm a woman preacher. That they wanted to believe and they tried to stay, but they had somebody on the outside mm -hmm. whispering in their ears, and that was that third party. That wasn't Christ. Mm -hmm. That was the third party. And they talk about different, that was failing. So they were trying to let them know that uh, uh, they don't believe in uh, pastors or ministers at all. And and uh, this one had a real battle with that. He would go and he would come. He would go and he would come. That tells me that he wanted the truth. But he was on the outside. You got to learn to keep what you get on the inside. Because what's done on the inside is what's going to build you. Because the, the spirit of the living water, it rose from on the inside. So what's on the inside is working on the outside. So what is on the inside, they need to keep. But what's on the outside, say. And he's waiting on you to come out that door. As soon as you hit that door, I don't care how good you feel. I don't care how high you shout, jump, pray. For you hit that door, Satan is waiting on you. Yes, he is. And he's going to let you, he's going to try to discourage you with everything he got. I hope the person that I'm talking to, you know who I'm talking to. <laughs> you know, I hope that you somehow another turn on Holy Trinity sometime or another and heard the word from the Sunday school teacher. Telling you that God has no respect of person. Mm, right. mm -hmm. If he can teach one, he can teach another. So therefore, I pray for you. My prayer has been for you. That God will bring you back home. Where you belong. Thank you. I know that's right. And you know... Then, you know, they, if a man say, you know, a woman can't tell him nothing in church, he got some problems at home. If he married, cause, especially if he, uh, he got some problems. Because you have to listen to a woman somewhere or another. Yes. Right? I mean, that's just the truth. Who taught him when he was little? Huh? Who taught him when he was little? I, I know that's right. <laughs> then, you know, you got some on like, you even got some. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I know about the hit love business. You got even preachers in this local area talking about, I ain't no one gonna get in my pulpit. It ain't yours. It's God's pulpit. It ain't your pulpit. That's when you get too big for your bridges. Old oh, folks used to say, it's God's pulpit. Now, you don't let in and anybody with any kind of spirit coming up in there. You you got bored over that, but to save some, because uh, a woman uh, saying she been called or she's a pastor or she's carrying the word to preach. You come out, ain't no woman getting in your pool. It ain't your pool pit. I mean, it ain't. I mean, it's just that. So, I mean, if it's shoot fit, keep landing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, you, it, it is. And, and it disturbed me when people won't stand up for the truth like that. It, it, it disturbed me. I, I, it really is. If I go somewhere, I know my pastor ain't working that pool pit. You don't have to worry about me sitting up there. Because if my pastor ain't welcome, you say I ain't well. That's the way I feel. Thank you, baby. Oh, yeah. That's the way I feel. And you got someone who won't even stand up. I'll just for showmanship. And God ain't pleased with that stuff. Somebody ought to stand up for something. I mean, if Doc was going somewhere, Doc, Doc is for the Holy Trinity. That's it. And, and I know Doc is a uh, bill man of, of the cloth. And where Doc, Doc is ain't looking for people, if you come on up this right now, I'm with Doc. We in the same family. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not doing that. That's why, uh, like, when I do different events and you bring in recording artists or uh, uh, famous people, and when you check, this is disturbing, Sister Pat. Well, uh, just say, uh, Sister Kimball, she'll come, but you got to get her a first class ticket 
But her, the people that stole with her, they got set back in coach. And like, that, that's up to my spirit. Wait a minute. If they're good enough to travel with you, yeah, why you why they can't be with you or why you can't sit in coach with them? Why the people that supposed to have your back, your musicians or or your armor bearers, whoever they is, why they in a separate area than you are? If they if they supposed to have your back, and so something ain't right with that. If, if you don't got up above them, uh, your spirit ain't right, or something ain't right because uh, we all supposed to be one, one, and that's how the devil gets. In and mess up stuff, a separation like that, because some people get too big and they high minded because, oh, I'm all this and that, I got a name, uh, uh, this, this and that. And forget all of that. And, 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 and about resurrection, Paul was telling the Galatians about being, uh, about uh, staying with the truth. And you got people will run here and there. Just to feel good. They don't want the truth. When if they think about it, a lot of times, even us when we was growing up, now when our children are growing up, we didn't want to hear the, the truth all the time from our parents. But when we bumped our head enough, like mom and daddy was right, I, I should stay there and listen. Amen. Then same thing when they go church hopping, go this and that. Then when they in the hospital and when they go to some big church and the pastor don't know their name, here they come calling about well. Uh, Oh, uh, well, uh, Sister uh, Q come in the hospital. Uh, well, we ain't seen Sister Q come in six months. Well, she been going over there. Well, why is she, over there pastor ain't going to see her then? Because over there pastor don't know. Amen. But then they want to call the, 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 the home church pastor to go around and, and see them if they had the edge of crossing over or something bad that happened or somebody that died in the family. Well, why the old younger Pastor can't come. And you know when you're going to get fed at. That, that happened to me. <laughs> Amen. I, I'm a witness. Yeah. My daughter was going to another church. Yeah. She did. She was a member down here, but she went to another church out of town. Mm -hmm. And she had to go to the hospital where she had, she got pregnant. Yeah. Okay. And when she got pregnant, uh, she had the child, but she would always, they wouldn't come see her. But they, she babysit for them. Mm -hmm. She took care of their children. She did Sunday school. She did all these things. They never gave her anything, but when she got sick, mm -hmm. amen, later on she had, she, when she was pregnant, she had uh, the twin. I'm talking about saying that. Anyway, she she was in the hospital for 21 days. Mm. 21 days I went up down that road to kill one baby and go and sit by the others. They passed it to come. Mm. I got up shit. I got on the phone. I gave a piece of my mind. <laughs> because the fact that she can take care of your babies, mm -hmm. take care of your church, teach, teach your, your, your baby children and all this stuff. Why you can't come see where she said, well, it's just as easy you come down as it is for to come up. Mm -hmm. So, my mother don't, don't do that. But you see, it, it paid off. Yeah. When I finished, they went on. They did what they supposed to do. Sometimes we hold our peace mm -hmm. and things keep going wrong. Yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. But when you speak, Sometimes you don't want to speak to be out of order. Right. But there's a way to do everything. That's right. And he said we got to do it. Even though I got upset, I didn't I didn't do no curse words. Mm. You know, I didn't get really ugly, <laughs> but I told him the truth. And so when I saw my daughter again, she said, I said, You see that it coming? Yes, ma'am. Well, that's your sheep. You go see about your sheep. And everybody here tell you, I'll come see about my babies. All y'all my babies, for that sir. Whether you're old I am or not, you see my baby. When something get wrong with you, it's my, it's, it's my job. Mm. Every mother takes care of their own children. Yes, yes, yes. That's right. So when we don't take care of our children, something wrong in the family. Amen. Even if the children are hard-headed. Amen, amen, amen. You still have to go see about it. 
Because Jesus still can't see about you. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, back in the day, they had a song uh, it, it said, uh, you know, it says when something is wrong with my baby, something is wrong with me. <laughs> so I, I see what, you know, what you're uh, speaking about because I know a lot of time I went to visit, visit uh, people in the in, uh, hospital in different places and they passed it didn't even uh, show up or nothing. So, you know, the Lord, will, what he's doing, he's showing you uh, where a person really stands. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're right on that. Amen. And it goes on. And I'd just like to say this. Uh, a lot of time, a person might not pay his tithes. Mm -hmm. They might just pay an offering or what have you. And a long time you can tell them that you're going to either pay one bill or you're going to pay another. And our bishop said one time, she said, you can pay the church or pay the doctor. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> and it goes on. It's talking about how the angel, uh, how the angels had set, you know, uh, set at the entrance where Jesus, uh, the letting people know that Jesus had uh, uh, wasn't in the tomb; that the tomb was empty. And goes on over to testimony to the resurrection. And that's prayer God. It's still the angels again. You see, for I, I was better get back to this same thing about women. They so hard on women, but if you study the Sunday school lesson and, and 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 about the resurrection of Jesus, it's all about women's red in here. All about it, it's Martha, and they talking about a Mary Magdalene and, and, and the other Mary. But then it says women's too, uh -huh. you know. So it's more women's in them testimony of the resurrection. Where were the men? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they were hiding. And, and so, yeah, he didn't say nothing about, he, you know, the disciple was so, you know, around, and, and when Thomas was doubting, so I think Thomas was the one that had to, just had to show him the, the nail prints in his hands and stuff. And, and, and you know, when, uh, I, I know even to now, you might. I know even now, even now, I might be 76 years old, but when I get sick, uh, get the feeling bad or what have you. Uh, first thing we do is call the woman. <laughs> I mean, yeah. think about it. Mm -hmm. and, when I, and, and, and before uh, my mama got down, when I got sick, that's who I was looking for. Mm -hmm. I mean, dad was all right, but yeah. I was looking for mama. Uh -huh. yeah. See, mama, 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 mama got, got that love and tender mm -hmm. care, yeah, yeah. and she had a more concerned spirit. About uh, uh, this, but you know, uh, 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 I don't know how to say this, but a woman that carried this baby nine months and have this baby, it's a special, special, special bond between them. So, a lot of times, you know, I even get sick, I got my wife, but my mom is still living, I want to see mom. Yeah, and, and, and I, I, I can just hear it in the spirit of myself. Well, that's okay. That, that was mama. She wouldn't care the word, but I bet she was care. I, I'm pretty sure your mama taught you how to pray. And anything dealing with prayer had to be dealing with the word of God. And so, Amen. ain't no way to worry. If you had a mother, any kind, no God, any kind of way, and when you were sick and you had a college, whatever you did when you was little, when maybe you didn't know, your mama probably had to lay hands. I don't care what color you were, your mama probably had to lay hands on you and pray. Amen. And you just don't know it. And but here you are condemning women for and 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 my thing is why it's so much hell and disturbance going on out there in the world. Why are you going to mess with somebody carrying the good news? Amen. What is hurting? Who preaching? Long as they trying to get somebody delivered and saved, why is it bothering you? Who's carrying the word? Amen. Thank you, God, for putting that in my spirit. I'm gonna throw that question out there again. I want you to catch it. Why do it disturb you so much that a woman carrying the good news trying to get people saved and delivered? 
Amen. And if it's if it's if you think about it, it's show you up. This ain't this ain't no uh, popularity contest. I know some of them make it, but this all is about Jesus, and, and that's all. It ain't about uh, nothing else. No, uh, how many members you got? How all that stuff? It's all about Jesus. Once we get focused on Jesus, we get them souls saved and delivered and set free. Somebody mad at me. I know they are. I ain't gonna speak to him. I'm gonna him at Walmart. <laughs> Somebody else will speak to you. I know, I know that's right. <laughs> Somebody else will run into you. When God, when one door is closed, God opens another. I know that's right. Uh, somebody else won't get saved. <laughs> hey. Amen. Hey, amen. Uh, let me see. I'm more with it. Oh, okay, okay, two more. Huh? Yeah, I was trying to see what the, the go, but we we on good time. Uh, confirmation of the resurrection, Matthew 28 and 7. When the evidence uh, before them uh, reinforced by the word of the angel, the, again, the women could have little doubt that Jesus had, in fact, risen from the dead. While they were still in amazement and were, were even fearful, verses 8, they knew that they had to share the good news with the disciples. Oh, man, the pastor just saying, what well, was the disciples that so? <laughs> do, do, do y'all see a catch point right there? You might see a catch point right there while I just read it. Mm -hmm. What was the catch point then? Uh, the catch point. Come on. It was a catch point. All right, I'm going to read it again so y'all catch. While they were still in amazement and were even fearful, verses 8. Good news. They, they knew. They had to share the good news with the disciples. There you go. Other word, they had to carry the message. And <laughs> you can't shoot down the messenger. Amen. And so the women had to go share the good news with the disciples. And we talk about they can't carry the word. All right. You keep on living that life. See, Jesus had already rose. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. See, and so the angel came. You know, if he rose and and, and the stone was still there, then they couldn't get in there to see where he uh, rose from. Yeah. But Jesus rose, and then the angel came from heaven and rolled back the stone <laughs> to assure uh, the, the the women that he's not here. Mm -hmm. He has been, come on, I'm gonna show you where he he was, but he ain't there no more. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Last one before we go to the particular point. Uh, the the examination. I can't even pronounce that word of the true gospel. The the uh, dissemination. The dissemination of the true gospel, the great commission, Matthew 28, 18 and twenty. The power of the gospel. That second paragraph, Jesus declared that all power or all authority was given to him in heaven and in earth. This sovereign authority reflects his uh, dignity and were reinforced by the very fact he stood before his follower, followers in resurrected glory. Amen. All authority, all the power was given to him in heaven and in earth. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so, Jesus said, I, I, I got everything. Don't, don't you worry about nothing. I got you because when I died and I went in the, to the belly of hell and defeated Satan again, uh, that I came back with all power and all authority in heaven and in earth. So whatever you need, God's got it. Amen. Particular points, the Holy Bible it was the only written record that in the uh, in the early writing. Hmm. Did I pronounce that right? In the, okay. Uh, but claim the true truth of Christ. Galatians 1, 6 to 7. Number two, there is no other gospel than the one proclaimed by the Holy Scriptures. Those who claim otherwise will be cursed. Verses 8 through 9. And uh, that's like when you've seen on the news, 
it was a, it had been on the news last couple of months, but before about about three or four months ago, you seen on the news was some I think it was in North Carolina where they were whooping people in, in the church trying to beat the devil out of them. Oh wow, yeah. Yeah, and see that that's what that, that's what Paul was talking about. You got to be careful, uh, little stuff like that. And you can't beat no spirit out of nobody. Amen. You preach it out of them, you teach it out of them, and, and God got to do the rest. And, and then you, uh, the religion where <laughs> I had said once before that the people go to church with snakes, and and, and they saying if your faith is strong enough that you go, you know, have a snake crawling on you around your neck. And, and that, uh, that the snake won't bite you, but if your faith ain't strong, the snake don't bite you. All right, be, be food. Amen. <laughs> be food. <laughs> a snake gonna be a snake. The man told me the week that he had been in a service like that. Oh, for real? Uh, the pastor over at uh, the Presbyterian Church. Yeah. He said he went to, was doing some distant and traveling around. Yeah. And he went to this church and they had, they, he said it's amazing to see all the different things. That's what he was looking at, all the different religions. Yeah. And he was all the different that places that he was going to say then there was one where I said, Well you can have that. I know that's right. You can have it. <laughs> I don't care nothing about no snakes. I ain't mad at that. Ooh, dancing around there. Have mercy. Uh number he three. Say he can't. I know that's right. <laughs> yeah. Number three, the Lord has used strange and uh uh, uh catastrophic. Uh, events to accomplish his will, Matthew 28, 1 to 3. Number four, the power of God can be completely overwhelming. Amen. I mean, the power of God, it, it's just, it, 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 I ain't, the only time I've been drunk in my life is the fact when I'm under the Holy Ghost. I mean, you can't stand up. I mean, I, I mean it, it, it just got you. Amen. You're staggering. Amen. Like old wine, though. Just a little bit that you know it said it can be overwhelming. Mm -hmm. A long time when we get ready to go through some things, mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit will come upon you and it will overwhelm you and it will cover you. Mm -hmm. What it's doing then is strengthening you All to right. make it through that ordeal. All right. Because if you don't have that strength from God, you won't make it through. Mm -hmm. But when the Spirit of the Lord, oh, watch out, preacher. Uh, he, when it comes upon us mm -hmm. and He gives us strength, and then you might say, oh, well, I know I'm going to go through something. Well, you might have to go through something, but when you're going through it, God just gave you the strength to stay and go through it. All right. So that's why we got to realize that we need to be in his presence when? At all times. Amen. At all times. You know, uh, Sister Pastor and uh, Brother Teacher, you know, when the disciples were up in the upper room, say he was preparing them. Mm -hmm. They were going well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Number five is what we did earlier when the young man was here, he said we should eagerly tell anyone who will listen that Jesus is alive. Verses 5 through 7, number 6 and final, God gives us the power to accomplish what he needs us to do. Verses 18 and 20. Thank you for joining us, Hunter School Lesson here at Holy Trinity, where our very fine pastor, Pastor Lisa May Bridges, and uh, Associate uh, El 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 uh, uh, Evangelist Dawkins. We thank y'all for joining and may God continue to bless you until we meet again.